beyond the river, cut off from the mainland, is a long winding green path leading to Patti Sonapur village. This village in Ganjam district is located between the river Rushikulia and the Bay of Bengal. With a population of 4,000 people, most of the residents of the village are fishermen. 30-year-old Kari Tata Rao has given his parents and four children a comfortable life through his grit and hard work. As his routine, Rao is getting ready to go catch fish early in the morning. Suddenly, there is a message on his mobile phone. Kari Tata Rao runs towards the cyclone shelter and rings the bell. Volunteers get activated. Others too have received a text message on their phones. Men, women, children calmly start moving in one direction towards the cyclone shelter. This is a mock drill. Over the past 10 years, the government, along with other agencies, civil society and communities, have all worked together to ensure the safety of people and their livestock. A number of activities, like hazard and vulnerability mapping, improving community resilience, upgrading of technology for weather forecast, state-of-the-art weather tracking systems, remote sensing data from satellites, scaling up of computing ability, Dissemination of information from call centers and SMS have ensured that both the government and communities are ready when disaster strikes. It wasn't like this before. In 1999, Odisha was hit by a super cyclone, the most powerful tropical cyclone ever recorded in the North Indian Ocean. It destroyed towns and villages along the coastline, leaving 10,000 dead and property worth $5 billion in damages and losses. The tragedy had then emphasized the need for improved cyclone preparedness and vulnerability reduction. Cyclone Filene hit the east coast of India on October 12, 2013, 15 years after the Odisha super cyclone. The sea went wild. 3-meter storm surges and sustained wind speeds of over 200 kilometers per hour battered the coastline for hundreds of kilometers. But Odisha was prepared. There were a whole range of measures put in place to reduce disaster risk and they have paid off not just in terms of lives but in economic uh, losses as well and reduced economic losses. So I think it's really quite remarkable what India has achieved in a short period of time. As a monster cyclone, Filene began to draw closer. The Indian Meteorological Department began to issue warnings a week in advance. Their accurate and timely forecast helped the local and state administration plan targeted action to help the affected and galvanized all stakeholders. Long before Filene made its landfall, Thousands of people were evacuated and brought to hundreds of designated shelters which were well stocked with food, water and other emergency requirements. Fishermen were warned not to venture out to the sea and instructed to store their boats in safe places. Farmers were advised to protect their harvest. Satellite phones and generators were dispatched to the heads of districts to ensure they remained in contact with the state capital control rooms were set up, trains and flights were cancelled and so were the holidays of civil servants. Disaster response teams were deployed in vulnerable areas. Helicopters were positioned in strategic locations. Boats for rescue and relief operations were kept on standby. Odisha was now ready for Cyclone Filene. It was as fierce and destructive as the super cyclone of 1999. The hard work of the Odisha government and other agencies showed stunning results. After its fury had ebbed, it was found that fewer than 25 lives were lost, a dramatic reduction from its earlier violent avatars. From 1999 supercyclone, we took up the initiative of preparedness. So 
our existing system of reactive approach to disaster management was replaced with proactive approach of disaster management that is planning preparedness and prevention India's investment across the country in large scale disaster mitigation programs to ensure disaster risk reduction has started paying off since 2011 the national disaster management authority with the support of international agencies has worked towards strengthening and scaling up of efforts through the national cyclone risk mitigation project ncrmp the largest preventive drm initiative in india working together with various state governments the project has helped streamline comprehensively early warning systems through installation of communication networks prevent ocean waters from flooding agricultural lands by constructing saline embankments and coastal canals improving roadways bridges and shelters all this also contributes in helping the government meet its larger goal of building resilience to climate change induced natural disasters such a multi-pronged strategy has strengthened cyclone risk mitigation infrastructure by building all purpose cyclone shelters evacuation roads and reinforcement of existing coastal embankments these investments have contributed to india's larger efforts in helping communities become more resilient to the impacts of natural disasters and a changing climate system the success of the cyclone risk mitigation program is a reflection of the resolve of the government and its willingness to learn from each disaster and improve the nation's resilience the government of india recognizes that nations that prepare well for disasters and rise from it pave the way for development growth and prosperity of its people